Well, headlines today's Aditi Anant Narayanan is now joining us live from the capital, uh, telling us more about these series of meetings that have been on. Aditi, the BJP leaders are not willing to divulge much at this point, but clearly groundwork is being laid uh, for the scenarios that are likely to come up post 16th. The BJP at this point of time extremely confident of getting an absolute majority after the results come out on the 16th of May. And without any delay, they've started their groundwork uh, already. In fact, since yesterday, we have been seeing high-profile meetings. We have seen uh, top BJP leaders meeting each other, whether it's the meeting between Nitin Gadkari, Rajnath Singh, whether it's Amit Shah meeting Arun Jaitley or Rajnath Singh himself coming down to meet Sushma Swaraj. Basically, at this point of time, uh, the embarrassment with the BJP has been facing due to the infighting within the top brass and the serial leaders of the Bharatiya Janta Party. Narendra Modi wants to avoid such a situation that after the party comes to power, they don't want any sulking faces. Right. They do not want any of the senior leaders to get miffed by the decisions that are going to be taken by Narendra Modi and his camp. And this is precisely the reason why they are now at this point of time trying to get all senior leaders, especially if you talk about LK Advani and Sushma Swaraj on board. Right. They have already been given the options of what the party has decided for them in the future after the results come out. And they are already been being briefed about what the party has decided for them so that at at the last minute, these two leaders, especially Sushma Swaraj and LK Advani, who are known to be in the anti-Narendra Modi camp, do not create any hurdles for Narendra Modi. So keeping all things in mind, getting everybody on board today, a delegation led by Nitin Gadkari, Rajnath Singh and Arun Jaitley have gone to meet Narendra Modi in Gandhi Nagar, right. where they will be attending the crucial post-poll strategy meeting. And finally, a call will be taken as to which senior leader will be given which post, whether it's in the government or whether it's in the Bharatiya Janta Party itself. So as you tell us, it's the old guard uh, that is fighting for relevance, Aditi, in the probable uh, Narendra Modi Sarkar. Sushma Suraj has finally, of course, revealed her cards as we are now learning that in the last uh, stand virtually that she's taken before final numbers are revealed, Swaraj is said to have told former party chief Nitin Gadkari that she wants a respectable role. Sources tell headlines today that she wants the final decision to be taken collectively within the parliamentary board of the party, the highest decision-making uh, body of the BJP, where the old guard still has a say. In fact, Sushma Swaraj today let her views uh, known to uh, the top bosses, including former chief Nitin Gadkari and party chief Rajnath Singh. The leader of opposition in the outgoing Lok Sabha had been silenced for very long, spending uh, most of the time in a constituency Vidisha campaigning there. Sources now tell us that the mission to know her views came actually from Narendra Modi, who wanted all issues resolved before the 16th of May. And here are some of the terms that have been said by Sushma Swaraj. She's made it clear now that she wants a cabinet committee for security spot for herself. So apart from prime minister spot, remember there are four key ministries, uh, that's of home, defense, finances and MEA that are part of the CCS. Sushma Swaraj has made it clear that she's aiming for those top four ministries, but sources indicate that a final decision will depend on how exactly the numbers stack up for the BJP. All right, Aditi Anand Naranan still with us. Uh, Aditi, as we are learning from the sources, Sushma Swaraj has made it very clear that she would want uh, either of those four ministries, the top ones at that. Uh, but what really has been the response uh, from the leaders who are conveying this message now to Narendra Modi in that all-important meeting set to take place in Gandhi Nagar in just moments from now? Uh, Ruchika, sources within the Bharatiya Janta Party are telling us that uh, Sushma Swaraj will be heading towards the Rai Sina Hill after the results come out, clearly indicating that Sushma Swaraj will be giving uh, will be given a cabinet berth after the results come out post 16th of May. So that is one thing which all the probably uh, the BJP sources are hinting at that Sushma Swaraj will either be given a place in the North Block or the South Block. Uh, more than that, Sushma Swaraj has uh, eagerly shown her willingness to be a part of the CCS, which the BJP again is pondering upon. The CCS will be consisting of all the top ministers, all four top ministers, including the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So this is one more thing that Sushma Swaraj has um, made her uh, made her point in front of the BJP leaders who came to meet her, that she will be willing to be a part of CCS. So this is something that the BJP sources are telling us they have not sidelined. They will be considering this demand that has been made by Sushma Swaraj as well. But uh, till the time it is concerned about a ministerial birth, the BJP sources are telling us that Sushma Swaraj will be heading towards the rise in a hill, whether it's the North Block or the South Block, 
work and the demand about being a part of the uh, five-member committee of the CCS is also being taken into consideration, Ruchika.